Hi, I'm Maggie Lukowski from Maggie Moon Tarot, and Happy New Year. We're manifesting in 2015. We're going to be in the flow of prosperity, abundance, and joy. And as the wheel has turned from 2014, we bring in the new energy for 2015, representing the first month, January, the Roman god Janus, guardian of the gates and doors, represented by two faces, one looking back and the other looking ahead. New beginnings and transitions. 2014 was a seven world year in numerology. Its theme was about doing our spiritual work. It was about being focused, even with the challenges that came our way, and seeing the gifts amidst some of the chaos. And sometimes we find, found ourselves in those liminal spaces, the place between no longer and not yet as Dr. D Joan Borisenko speaks about. But that's also a point of reinvention, the fertile place, a place of curiosity where we can move forward when we um, look at any of the blocks that may have held us back and gently let them go. So take time to celebrate the small and big joys and accomplishments um, from our lessons. In 2015, we can tell a new story. Our book has blank pages to write our intentions and desires, our story, all the things that are we're being called to do by our soul, co-creating with spirit, our guides and the angels, being inspired. It's about our emotions and desires and how we want to feel in all areas of our lives. Um, in 2015 is an eight year in numerology, one that holds the energy of abundance, a great year to take what we learned in 2014 and manifest our desires here physically. And for the Chinese New Year in 2015 in February, it's a yin year, the year of the wood sheep or goat, the earth branch. The Chinese believe eight brings prosperity, good blessings, holds artistic and gentle vibes, and loves a good life, a symbol of success and prosperous career. The sheep stand for peace and happiness. So it's about using our mental abilities over um, a more aggressive nature. Sheep are surprisingly tough and can su survive and are much stronger than they appear. Um, generally, uh, sheep personality won't do a job or career they don't like, or they're not going to be forced into anything, And but they don't confront. They kind of go their own way. And this be, may be a clue for us for this year. When we look at the number eight, you see the top circle pointing to the heavens and the bottom, bottom circle pointing to the earth, connecting heaven and earth grounding our spirit with the earth. And in an eight year, the vibes are about financial abundance and self-discipline, a little of the Saturn and Sag influence that we feel this year. The eight holds great promise for getting our finances in order, being open to receive, and in business, blending our spiritual side to the work we do. Abundance comes in all forms, just not money. The eight energy is about wanting to manifest and provide for ourselves and those we love and have that abundance to help others. And that's a feeling that we have more than enough um, in areas of our lives. And it's a time to look at our abundance meter and vibe and come up with plans on how we may want those things to grow, make any needed adjustments, weeding and watering our garden, and finding ways of making the soil rich and fertile to plant our seeds. We might find ourselves working hard in an eight year. So one of the uh, lessons is to make time for play and not neglect our relationships, especially the relationship we have with ourselves and with spirit. It's also important that we feel um, that we're recognized and appreciated for the work we do during the year. So no matter what is going on in the outer world, um, or recognition, recognition that we receive or not, find ways to appreciate our own good work and reward ourselves. It's important to align ourselves with people who have similar interests, but also diversity, and ones that appreciate and support us. The vibes of the eight also remind us to take care of our health. In an eight year, we can get busy and often neglect this amazing physical body that helps us on this realm. Give it love, 
good food and find ways to enjoy movement and physical exercise with our friends, family, or pets. This also helps us when we feel stuck or a bit out of sorts. Um, it can be as simple as getting up and moving to a different room, looking out the window, taking a walk. I like to put on some dance music and for a few minutes dance out that stuck energy. Sitting in our chair, we can move our hands, our arms, we can stretch, move our head and necks, and it feels especially good. And an added benefit is we are able to look at things from a different perspective. An exercise um, to use to jumpstart our creativity, I think I might have talked about it before, it connects our right and left brain um, so ideas will flow easier, is to imagine the aid on its side and trace it around in your mind's eye for a few minutes. Often, if we're stuck on our logical side or our creative side, it brings them together working beautifully. And then another manifestation tool is to write an aid on a piece of paper and place it in your wallet. For financial abundance. And in Tarot from the Major Arcana, eight is the strength card. And this one is from the beautiful Guy in Tarot by Joanna Powell Colbert. A lady sitting alongside the lion. She represents that quiet strength and she has the infinity symbol above her head. And um, the eight on its side represent, represents unlimited possibility, movement, actions taken that will shape our destiny. The lion represents our passion and personal power. It's also about um, embracing that passion. And are we the lady or the lion? And I think a little of both. The lion in the card asks us to look at our personal power and conscious choice. We have the power to choose what we want to bring into our lives. It's a year of action. The divine feminine is emerging for all of us, regardless of gender. It's about a kinder and gentler approach to life, but one of coming from an inner strength. One of the crystals I chose for 2015 is citrine. It's an amplifier and has amazing manifesting properties for luck, wealth, and abundance. It's golden light and energy helps us in motivation, healing, letting go of stuck energy, inspires confidence and trust. Um, and I like to suggest, select a theme, word, or affirmation for the year. So a lovely one for an eight year is, I shine my light for all to see, co-creating with spirit and the angels. The world is waiting for my gifts, and I feel safe as I step into my passion and personal power. Abundance is my birthright. So give it a go and choose a word, a theme, or affirmation for your year. We each have our own personal year two in numerology that changes every year that helps us work with the world year energy. And this year it's the eight. So I've been busily working on numerology charts and yearly tarot readings for my clients for 2015. I love to work um, with people to look at how their personal year can be allies and challengers and love putting um, in place action plans or suggestions for the year ahead. So, whatever year you find yourself in, take advantage of the opportunities that this new year brings. And my wish for you is a year filled with sweetness, love, well-being, abundance, and aligning with our deepest desires, co-creating with spirit. Wishing you a magical year around the sun. Namaste.